Thank you for joining us on Valley News Live. Check out with me the skies over the FM area. Some high clouds out there and those temperatures are soaring. Check out the lower right hand side of your screen. That is what's going on right now at Hector International. It is 78 great degrees. Ah, and you know it is well spring fever in full swing. Your other conditions. We do have a southwest wind as we head into the afternoon, 15 to 20 miles per hour here in the FM area. All in all, even Grand Forks enjoying mild temperatures. And for much of the afternoon, you were warmer in Grand Forks than we were in Fargo. Now we're both neck and neck at 78. Feels like 77 because that wind chill. <laughs> All right, here's a look around the region. 77 in Jamestown, 75 Devils Lake, 80 for Bismarck and Mobridge, South Dakota, 82 degrees. And check out the heat making its way out in the lakes country with a lot of low 70s there, including for you, babe, the blue ox. Get out there and take a dip in Lake Bemidji. I saw there's some open water starting to take place. 75 in Devils Lake. Look at Candu at 79 degrees. Hour by hour forecast shows these clouds zipping through. There's a cool front moving through as we speak. It's not bringing a lot of moisture, but it is bringing a few high clouds streaming in. The air over is too dry to produce any rain as it makes its way through. Tonight by 9 to 10 o'clock will still be in the mid 60s. Wonderful for a barbecue. You could walk the alpaca or the cat on a leash, of course. It's only safe. All right, temperatures near 40, warming up tomorrow. But here's the deal. See this batch of clouds right here? That's where the cool front kind of parks and it sits there and oscillates all day. So we'll have some clouds. And temperatures, because it stalls out right there, not much different than what we saw today. In the afternoon, it will be coolest up north. Notice it will saw off a few degrees, right? Uh, we're talking near 70 there, 65 to 70. We'll make the low 70s in our southern counties on a magnificent Thursday. Fargo, tail of the tape. First thing in the morning, 43 degrees. Very comfortable. We warm it up low 70s as opposed to the upper 70s. We'll take it. Pretty good. A few more clouds probably than today. And as far as our wind direction goes, instead of that southwesterly wind I told you about, it's going to be back out of the north again. And it does look like a cooler and a more unsettled pattern heads our way. Temperatures in your hometown snapshotting the five o'clock hour. It'll be in the afternoon when those north winds will finally start ushering in some cooler air. So we'll have a temperature range from the upper 50s to the low 70s north to south across the region. All right, let's take a look at the planning forecast. It does include some rain Friday. I can't rule out a spit. It does not look like a big deal out there and still mild temperature wise. OK, here comes the Saturday showers that push through. They last into Sunday as they work their way north Sunday morning. And as we go through Sunday, though, most of us stay for the most part dry. We could have periods of shower activity. Same thing goes for Monday. Same thing goes for Tuesday. So unsettled weather as we get through the late week and into the weekend. Saturday showers, cooler 60 degree weather in Fargo. 64 on Sunday. Next week we stay between 65 and 70 degrees throughout with passing shower chances. Yes, they could be noticeable and heavy, but it's that time of year. You know what they say? Um, May showers bring June, no wait. Flat June um, no, I forget yeah, about it. I'm, we're a few months behind here, okay. in Fargo, but enjoy the 70s and the 60s while they're we're here. We're sprinting. We'll Most take these days any day we like can get. Forrest them. Gump. Thanks, Hutch. Yeah. Many people don't know the signs of a stroke. Coming up, we have some tips on what you should look out for to spot them.